Brewers hosting the Nationals, and the Nationals are plus 176 on the money line. The Brewers are minus 210. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Nationals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Brewers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. Now, these odds are subject to change. They are the overnight odds. They'll probably change the closer we get to first pitch. With that being said, if by some miraculous reason Peralta does not pitch it would change my pick for tomorrow's game keep an eye out especially for guys who you think can make it to the all-star game because you know they may not start them or they may not pitch them as deep in the game as they normally would Rutledge did not pitch against the Brewers last year this year Peralta pitched once against the Nationals six innings three runs three earned they won six four he struck out seven weather will not be a factor because of the dome Head to head, the Nationals are six and four. The home team six and four. The underdog is both six and four on the money line, and six and four on the run line. There have been two one run games in their last ten. The over under is five and five, and the over under at seven and a half runs is seven and three. This is their first meeting between each other this season. The Brewers are three and two in Peralta's last five starts. The over is three and two in those starts. Five and a third innings pitched, 4.6 hits, 2.4 earned runs, 6.4 strikeouts, two walks per game, 0.8 home runs per game. He gave up a home run in back-to-back -back starts, and he's thrown over 100 pitches in his last four starts. He's averaging 101.6 pitches per game and 19.3 pitches per inning, and that's in his last five starts. The Nationals are 3-7 and seven in their last 10. They are on a five-game losing streak. Six runs, 12 runs, eight runs, seven runs. Shut out in the loss, five runs in a loss, two runs in a loss, and then shut out in a loss again. And for the Brewers, they're 2-2 two and two in their last four. 11 runs. Of course, it switched off. Fourteen runs, nine runs, and then one run. Nine runs and a win, two runs and a loss, nine runs and a win, and then shut out in the loss today against Skeens, who was throwing a no-hitter through seven innings. I mean, that kid is just something else. I am going to take the Brewers with the money line. I will take the Brewers laying the runs, and I'm going to lean under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.